Hello there, Wargaming Enthusiasts! Let's just press play and see. Uh, well, our infantry is opening fire, and these guys seem to be um, standing there, contemplating the surprising situation they find themselves in. And our other infantry is moving up. Okay, our guys are moving their gun. Ah! Well, we survived one shot. Maybe we'll survive some more. Um, come on, how about infantry opens fire with grenades? How about that? Because we might be screwed with the SU-85. It doesn't seem to want to fire. Uh, those are just frags. So maybe I'm immobilized. Ah, it's done for. Okay. Hopefully a couple of grenades on the back there managed to do some damage. Um, yeah, our infantry is uh, trying to shoot everyone up. These guys got shaken from all the excitement. Um, Alright, well I didn't see any... I didn't hear any more explosions, so I don't know what the hell's going on here. But I imagine... Then pan out. Well, so we open fire here. Why didn't they open fire? Uh, okay, they didn't open fire, so our plan didn't work out. Now, they should be like five meters apart. And our infantry is moving up, but they don't see him. And I imagine they don't see him at all. Too bad, we could have caught him uh, in the rear with our 85mm gun. 85mm gun in the rear of a King Tiger at this distance. Uh, it could happen. We could have had a penetration, but uh, I don't think so. There's some infantry over there. I think that's it. That's all she wrote. Yep. So. This is the end. We failed both of our objectives. It's my minor victory. <laughs> because... Because what? I have no idea why. Oh, because I captured my uh, objective and he didn't, which is exactly what I wanted. So yeah, I'll take that. I'll consider that a minor victory rather than a draw, yeah. Enemy casualties 277, enemy casualties 176, so he definitely took out more of my stuff than I did of his. And yeah, that's it. Let's review the situation. So, yeah, he had a couple of infantry units stationed in the buildings. He had a Panzer 4J, which I don't think I know. Looks like a standard Panzer, J, uh, Panzer IV to me, um, but okay. Um, he had another Panzer IV. A J, they're all Panzer IV Js, okay, that makes sense. Um, I'm not that good at Panzer IV spotting. Here's the one we took out with a mortar, with a uh, infantry gun shell. That's also Panzer IV J. Yep. And that's it and this panzer for ah, i had got immobilized in the ford okay yeah i actually th i was actually we actually talked about this mirak and i and uh, i played the uh, soviet campaign a little bit and i told him uh, that my tanks keep getting stuck in the uh, fords and <laughs> just getting immobilized in there so i'm very weary about moving them through any fords and i always pick the the the, the bridges and uh yeah so he picked a Ford, he got one of his tanks stuck. So yeah, this here, definitely a thing. We could have gotten him, maybe, if if we did, sp uh, if we if we spotted him, but uh, I go. And yeah, he was responsible for taking out most of my tanks. And uh, we can see, those are some pretty square shots there, but uh, all of them, no damage unsurprisingly yeah we had no combat victories on this tank um, let's see now this tank actually destroyed a Panzer IV this tank destroyed our tank 
no victories, no victories, no victories. They're just shooting at the uh, at the tiger with completely no results. And uh, oh, he's immobilized so from the grenades. That's great. That's kind of cool. So he wouldn't have been a threat either. Um, so I think we could have at least inconvenienced this this guy enough so he wouldn't be a, a threat, which uh, means he wouldn't have been able to uh, actually enter our green zone even if he had a couple of extra minutes and yeah I don't think he'd have been able to find our guys in this soup either so yeah third platoon HQ uh, with what is that? Vishalovtsev okay Vishalovtsev um, Captain Vishalovtsev saved the day for us as as did uh, uh was that private malafiev so they're the guys who actually secured the the minor albeit minor but the victory um yeah it was hilarious to see the tank just roll over these guys not notice them at all but more importantly they didn't notice the tank either which is really weird well i, I guess they did for us for a brief while but wow that was just something and of course this this will be remembered forever. <laughs> this wonderful tank duel. I think the problem was, maybe I should have moved him back. I, the problem was he couldn't fire because he was just too close, but he didn't want to move back because, uh, well, you know, <laughs> he had him in his sights. So I think that's why he didn't fire for uh, all that time. I think if I made him withdraw, maybe he would have been able to fire him and, and maybe he would have destroyed this guy rather than just... Uh, immobilize him anyway that's a it was a pretty interesting game i have to say i mean it didn't it doesn't really look like it uh, from all the waiting we do but just the fact that we did all this um sneaking about we were able to pull some of it off some of it not um we had an interesting plan here at the beginning and I'm pretty sure if it wasn't for the King Tiger, we would have been able to secure a victory here, or uh, rather uh, secure uh, the uh, the center here and just push through. And then we, it would have been a fight on our own terms in the city here, and on the well on the fringes of this of this victory condition. Um, and that would have been a, a completely different fight. But as it was, we were well, we were made unable to move forward due to our heavy losses and uh, the enemy tanks the, well the, the king tiger was just too tough for us the panzer fours we can take so then it turned a completely different battle of sneaking about where i just tried to do a gamey thing of putting some of my guys on the enemy victory uh, condition thingy and secure him from doing the same to me um so yeah, and for some reason, for whatever reason, he failed to move at all. So I think if he had five more minutes, it would have been a draw. He could have maybe pulled in another two tanks or something through the bridge and just gotten through here and uh, I wouldn't have anything to do. I mean, I couldn't do anything uh, with that. So it would have been a draw, but he waited an, an extremely long time. I think he was waiting for this mortar fire here, maybe, or whatever it was, artillery fire. But why the hell would you wait if the visibility is 5 meters? There's nothing here that can attack you if you're advancing. Um, yeah, uh, to be frank, I didn't know the visibility was 5 meters, otherwise I'd have done this very differently, but um, it was apparent after that, that that the visibility was really something remarkable there um yeah i'm really mad myself at myself for losing this tank in such a stupid way like i didn't understand knife night fighting at all so i get it now in night fighting uh in night conditions once you fire you become visible you become visible uh you are likely to be dead to be fired at by anything else that you don't see so basically the first guy who fires um either destroys his tiger uh, target or dies and uh, so shooting blindly in those conditions completely off the table and i did try to shoot blindly here to sort of distract this guy and withdraw and 
once I shot blindly, he could see me and he could just target me as normal. And then I was done for because I didn't see him still. So yeah, I should have just withdrawn or I should have stayed here, whatever. But firing and withdrawing, bad idea. And I've learned my lesson. And whenever we're night fighting again, that's not going to happen. And I'm pretty sure we are going to be night fighting again whenever I get to pick the, the mission next time. Because uh, it's it's been interesting. A bit of a different weapon choice, definitely tanks rather than assault guns, uh, because you need to swivel your turret around like this guy here. Um, it's just faster and more more agile. Um, but also close combat weaponry, none of those rifles there, just submachine guns, heavy machine, I mean submachine guns, uh, light machine guns like DPs, and um, flamethrowers, grenades, sappers, tank hunters, you know, that sort of stuff. Mobile troops that fire at very short distances. And then, basically, we can do whatever we want. And a lot of them, so they can secure a heavy perimeter, which is uh, not a problem with Soviet troops. I don't know how that would be done with uh, German troops, but I imagine there's ways. You could certainly split off some teams. Anyways, it's been an interesting battle, um, a frustrating one at, at times, and uh, definitely one with a couple of twists, but uh, I enjoyed it, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. So, that said, uh, we'll probably be starting another battle very soon, um, which you'll get about two weeks after this one, uh, seeing, uh, well, just looking at our progress so far and how we're doing this. Um, it usually takes us about two or three weeks to play a battle, and then I'll upload it all wholesale. So you'll get this one wholesale, and um, the next one whenever we're done. And hopefully you'll enjoy this one, and hopefully the next one will be <laughs> at least as interesting, and uh, probably less frustrating, since I didn't, don't get to choose the conditions this time. Anyways, I seem to be yammering on without any purpose now. Um, because I'm excited about this, these final minutes there. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, see you guys during the next battle. Bye!